Welcome back. In the northwest, possibly disturbed by the spate of violence across the northern part of the country and the nation as a whole, the Inspector General of Police has called a security summit to brainstorm and find solutions that will last. The summit, which is held in Kaduna, has a representative of the Vice President in attendance alongside governors, their deputies, security operatives, traditional rulers and lawmakers. Today's theme is patient and de deliberately choosing to once more emphasize the importance for an all-inclusive and collaborative approach to deal with security questions in our quest for nation building. You are all aware of the issue of hazardous farmers classes, hazardous clashes, which is generating a lot of concern in Nigeria, especially the ones in Benue, Taraba, Adamawa, and other states in the country. Let me use this opportunity to assure all Nigerians that the President has mandated me to adopt strategies effective enough to end the recurring herders' clashes in Nigeria, farmers' clashes in Nigeria. It must, however, be noted that farmers' herders' clashes do not start with this administration. Yet, this administration has taken more measures to end the crisis than previous regimes. However, it is my humble suggestion that to reduce the incidence of clashes between farmers and herders in Nigeria, state governments should endeavor to establish grazing ranges in various states before enacting these laws to prohibit rearing and grazing. It is when, it is when grazing ranges are established that herders can be arrested and punished for rearing and grazing in open places. Doing so, I'm of the opinion, that will make the law acceptable to all parties concerned and other stakeholders in that all-important sector. It will do us good if we avoid hasty formulation and implementation of such laws across in the country in the interest of peace and unity. For instance, I have visited Benue and National States and observed that the crisis training the Benue State prohibition of open rearing and grazing of livestock, livestock would have been mitigated if states had first established grazing ranges before prohibition of open grazing as provided in the state law established by the Benue State House of Assembly. Over 5,000 people from the Northern Senatorial District of Cross River State have benefited from free medical services ranging from surgical procedure to treatment of other ailments. The gesture is in fulfillment of a promise by the wife of the state governor, Dr. Linda Benayade, to provide health care to people at the grassroots. The health intervention was held at the General Hospital in Obudu, local government area of Cross River State. Having experienced medical care here in Nigeria and in the United Kingdom, I realized that there's so much gap, you know. The people, since our health care system is not subsidized for the people, um, they find it very difficult to assess available um, health services in the country. So a lot of people just stay back home with their ailments and uh, do what they can do to help themselves. If you go in there, you see that a lot of people have been keeping some illnesses, things, minor surgical cases that could have been corrected five years ago, three years ago, they just have them and they manage them. Some go as far as, I have, there's a lady I just saw in there who has been carrying um, a, ut a uterine prolapse for the last 18 years, and she's just had it um, corrected here today. And that's where we call it a day for this edition of News Across Nigeria. Thank you for watching. I'm Olumide Mukoli.